the way we think and the way we operate. And so uh, in the closing then we say the new ecology as we preach it around here, uh, the ecosystem ecology then is focused then on uh, uh, massive interfacing between uh, different disciplines, e ecological economics, uh, interfacing with, with anthropologists, uh, sociologists, humanities, and then the applied sciences. We have big excitement now in, in ecological engineering. We have two journals, two new You see, you see the number of journals. We usually have these journals out here in the library. And there are all these new journals. There's ecological economics, you know, this. Uh, there's the ecotoxicology, which is uh, this conservation ecology, which is a merger. Uh, there is a, even now a spiritual ecology, <laughs> where religious, where we're trying to see. Uh, I was recently at the Santa Fe Institute, which is a big think tank up on top of the mountain in New Mexico. And one of them just, I said, what, what do you all do here? And, well, you, it's a think tank. You come there, and they're trying to find out how how a complex system should be, how you study things that are complex, that you can't be 95% certain. And they kind of joke and say, well, what we're really doing here is to find out where science ends and religion begins. That was where science, which is understanding, begins. And where religion, which is unexplained, you might say science is explainable. We can explain a lot of things. But there's some things that science can't explain, like the origin of the universe. Was there a hand of God in there somewhere? Or how did all this get so well organized? How do we get an organized system out of this, out of chaos? You know, all this stuff. And so, so <laughs> you get to this point. And this bothers people. That's why so many people are turning to religion because it, it's, it, it explains everything. Science doesn't, so they don't like science because it doesn't really explain. And they're not, and scientists are not sure about global warming because you can't be real sure. Of that. And so, therefore, scientists don't know anything. I said, is it global really warming? And they say, well, we think so, but we're not real sure. We're not, we're 80% certain, but we're not 90 percent certain. So, so we have a, a wonderful opportunity here uh, to really interface. And so, something like restoration ecology, repairing all the wetlands and things we have done. And this is where our students are getting excited. Our students are more interested now in getting jobs to restore things, getting jobs to avoid problems, getting jobs to prevent disasters and things of this sort, and also teaching.